Keep your facts. Here's my example. <laughs> a good example of this is the golden lion tamarind from Brazil, which nearly died out because of logging and mining activities, which are destroying its habitat. Today, a third of wild golden lion tamarinds were raised in captivity. That's the three parts of the first main body paragraph complete. Here's the finished paragraph. I've colour coded it to highlight them. Pause the video and read the paragraph so that you can hear how the three parts flow. There are many projects in existence zoological parks around the world where the species facing extinction have been successfully bred in captivity and their numbers increased substantially. Mm, this is important for ensuring the survival animals. Topic explanation example. Ah. From one to another. We'll now follow the same process with our second main body paragraph. As in First, like. we write the topic sentence to summarize the main idea. I started main body paragraph one with the phrase, on the one hand, <laughs> So main body paragraph two will naturally begin. On the other hand, these are great cohesive devices to use when making a direct contrast between two opposing views, and they link the ideas together well. They can be used in most discussion essays and will help you to earn a good score for cohesion and coherence. The main idea for main body paragraph two is cramped cages, unnatural environments, and animals distressed. And here's this idea, summarised as a topic sentence. On the other hand, a significant percentage of zoos house their animals in cramped cages with very little space to move around or behave naturally. Now for the explanation sentence to explain and expand this idea. Here's one way we could write it. This can lead to them becoming distressed and depressed as well as suffering physically through lack of exercise. Finally, an example to support this point. As I mentioned before, you can make one up if you need to, as I have here. Just make sure that it's believable. Here's my example. A friend of mine recently visited a wildlife park while on holiday abroad and was very upset to see the lions pacing up and down in a narrow bare pen and eagles in enclosures so small that they were unable to fly. That's the three parts of our second main body paragraph complete. Here's the finished paragraph. Pause the video again and read through it. Now we need a conclusion and our discussion essay is done. Come on, the main point. Conclusions to discussion essays should do two things. Summarise the main points and state your opinion. This can generally be done in a single sentence. If you're below the minimum 250 words after you've written your conclusion, you can add a prediction or recommendation statement. Our essay currently has 231 words, so we're on target and don't need this extra sentence. But you can learn more about how to write a prediction or recommendation statement on my webpage about task 2 conclusions and in the related video. I put a link to them in the notes below this video. The conclusion is the easiest sentence in the essay to write, but one of the most important. The conclusion will neatly end the essay, link all your ideas together, sum up your argument or opinion, and answer the question. If you achieve this, you'll improve your score for both task achievement and cohesion and coherence, which together make up 50% of the overall marks. Without a conclusion, you'll score below band 6 for task achievement.